case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The initial copyright infringement verdict was subject to a retrial due to an error in jury instructions. However, following two additional trials, the defendant, Thomas Rassett, was held liable once again. The district court ruled a maximum award of $54,000, the upper limit permitted by the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment, and issued a limited injunction against Thomas Rassett, restricting her interaction with copyrighted recordings belonging to the plaintiffs. Unsatisfied with the court's ruling, both parties sought to appeal the decision. The recording companies didn't find the award sufficient and therefore sought larger damages of $222,000 and a broader injunction that would prohibit the defendant from making their music available to the public. Thomas Rassett, on the other hand, countered with a cross-appeal aiming to repeal the award altogether on the grounds of it being unconstitutional. After thorough consideration, the Court of Appeals overruled the district court's decision, aligning with the plaintiff's demands. The court justified its decision stating the awards granted by the successive juries, albeit lofty, were well within the legal ambit. Moreover, the court underscored the defendant's willful infringement and attempts to cover up her actions as indicative of unlawful behavior, thus requiring a more stringent injunction. Further reasoning of the court revolved around the constitutionality of the damages awarded. It invalidated the district court's contention of the award being excessive and in breach of the due process clause. The court ruled that an award of $9,250 for each of the 24 works infringed was not excessive and was indeed constitutional. Subsequently, the court vacated the original judgment by the district court, directing it to enforce damages of $222,000 and a detailed injunction preventing Thomas Rassett from publicizing any of the plaintiff's music through online channels. Ultimately, the court sided with the record companies upholding the severity of penalties for willful copyright infringement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.